Aries, welcome to mid-December relationship check-in, let's call it. Just want to get a check-in, what's going on in terms of love and relationships, where Aries is showing up with the Eight of Pentacles, um, one of my favorite cards in the Klimt art deck here. You can see the artwork carries with it um, a lot more meaning with the pregnancy and the solid couple. But this is a good worker card. When I see it here in this position, um, you're someone that's uh, learned from the past, uh, has strengthened yourself, uh, done the work. It's not like a, a how you make your money. Um, studying the love languages, um, going to therapy, uh, talking through things, uh, reading, educating yourself. I mean, you've, you've done this work, you know, spiritual work, energy work, healing work, these things um, with this card. And, and it's always solid, sincere, positive. And I think there's an energy that comes with it of uh, just this feeling of it's going, you're going to give birth to something. When you stay in the Eight of Pentacles energy, you're going to give birth to something, you know. You can't fail in that energy. However, <clears throat> the overall energy for swords, that's all I just put there because I don't need to clarify the decks behind it. Now, it's such different cards. It's so evocative. What's crossing us is the hangman here. Um, and I just relate that to the four swords. We've really been doing the work. We've been pushing. But with the hangman, I think... With the four swords, that's us going, yeah, yeah, it's like, well, I'm not really, what can I do? You know, it's not, even if I was in the game, I'm not in the game. I'm just kind of down. I mean, look at her. She's practically asleep here, right? Um, and that's one thing. But now, would this be, because this is now in the crossing position. So it's as if this is the problem. It's like, um, I know, man, Aries, I'm relating to you as a Sag, you know? It seems like it's just been forever. It's like, how long do we have to go on believing and loving ourselves and doing our work? And, yeah, until, until. And it just feels like it's not coming, you know? Um, it's hard to know how to talk about it, you know? Um, particularly if you're energy worker, light worker, you know, however you might look at it, you know? Impasse. someone does the work now this is always say the most important uh position this is a four card reading because this is advice from spirit now oh i can't get that in focus quite um but the king of cups here and this is advice from spirit so it's going to be positive and it's to us we're going to channel the best part aries of yourself that's what that's talking about um, the most emotionally mature. Um, it's like also sort of have a brave heart because it's not about fighting anyone else. It's about self-acceptance, acceptance of everything, patience. It's kind of like the way to get past the hangman is to kind of accept the hangman. Emotionally really accept. Say like, okay, you know, I can just be because the hangman's just being. And ultimately, the purpose is to really see something from a different perspective. And, you know, maybe that does take a minute. Maybe you really do have to get uncomfortable. The hangman's also about, like, you know, it's like looking at what's uncomfortable. Uh, do you want to be uncomfortable? What does it mean to be uncomfortable? And then the outcome is the wheel of fortune. And I think this is why we're told, you know, this kind of keep a steady emotional hand on the wheel of the ship. Don't get excited. You know, stay the course, you know. I think with the King Cups, you know, you can be a lot of things, petulant or whatever, emotionally, you know, too emotional. I mean, I'm Cancer Moon, God knows. Be too emotional. But the King of Cups, you know, you, you're going to have mastery of your emotion. Particularly, this is a wish from spirit. So it's channeling that most emotional, mature part of our nature. Because what's coming is a wheel of fortune. And it, it's just flat out divine timing. One, two, three, four swords there. Um, something that's being timed, that's being uh, laid out in a metaphysical way. Somebody's 
this is also Jupiter. I know Jupiter's racing through the rest of Aquarius, and man, is it going to haul ass through Pisces, my seventh house. Um, and that cat that very well could point to that. That's anywhere in your chart, Aries, wherever that might be. Um, that could be relevant for you. Ninth house, if you're in Aries rising, that makes it easy where Jupiter, at least the ruler, is. Um, so, <clears throat> what do you have going on there? Because with this being the outcome, it's like you can kind of count on it. And it's going to go in your favor, and it's going to be an opportunity. Jupiter, they say, brings gifts. Jupiter brings gifts in the form of opportunities. That's what Jupiter brings. Gifts in the form of opportunities. They can be great, though. Jupiter can be like Oprah. Saturn uh, brings gifts in the form of responsibilities and lessons. <laughs> so uh, Jupiter's not so bad. And by remaining, the advice here, by remaining calm, emotionally calm, again, channeling that uh, highest aspect of yourself emotionally, mastering emotions, I think there's going to be some patience involved. And it's, when you uh, see it, it's just, uh, you're going to, it's, you're going to know it. It's like, how, I remember when I was young, I was so into the outdoors, typical Sag, and I asked this guy's very concerned, how am I going to know what a rattlesnake sounds like? He just laughed. He said, oh. "He said that's not a problem. When you hear it, you're gonna know it. <laughs> Even if you've never heard it before, you're just gonna know." How am I gonna know? I said, "You're just gonna know, dude. You're just gonna know, dude. <laughs> you're gonna know. You're gonna be like, damn, that's that opportunity. Even if you're gonna watch this reading, and you're probably already feeling this tenseness, like, you know, I want to go, I want to go, but it looks like it's gonna be a minute. I think it's like for a lot of people gonna be." Mid January, February, Venus will be going back direct on about business, and you know, could be that kind of time frame here, Aries. So, thank you guys. Um, I hope you liked it. Um, do give me a like if you don't mind, it's easy, it helps the channel a lot. If you do like it, of course, and uh, if you resonate, you know, share with someone if you know that's an Aries or rising or moon or Venus, even, you know. This kind of reading is good for those all. Um, thank you.